Hey, what's going on, guys? JB here with another political video. Today, it's really important that you watch this video all the way through. It doesn't matter if you really, if you don't like my channel, I understand. If you're watching this and you don't really vibe with how I'm going, yeah, I said that. Please watch this one because it's very, very important. It's more of a serious job. Um, again, right before I start, I'm going to say I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers before the November election. If you want to, you can. If you don't, you don't. It's free as well. Like all that YouTube stuff. Now let's turn to the actual videos. This is very, very serious. Two LA County Sheriff officers cling to the life after ambush shooting Compton. You guys have heard about this. It recently happened. So basically, two sheriffs were uh, almost dead in critical condition because they ambushed at point blank by a gun gunman. But walked up to the car and shot them both. I'll be showing the video. Um, and they didn't. They, sorry, I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm gonna say bang bang because they don't like that well. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys. The thing is. These officers are, are more so newbies, they're rookies. So one of them's a 31-year-old mother of a six-year-old, and the other one is a 21-year-old, 24-year-old, 24-year-old. So let's go on to this thing. So the the reason I'm making this is because I would have made it anyways, despite this, despite what happened, happened after. But I, what really makes me do this is what happened after that. So if you look right here, I right, one those a bail, there's a Hundred thousand dollar reward. Looking for information for about them. A black man, twenty eight to thirty years old, wearing dark clothing. Yeah, it happens September twelfth. So yeah, this is very recent. So basically, this is the tweet right here. So moments ago, two of our sheriff or deputies were shot in Compton and were transported to a local hospital. They were both still fighting for lives, so please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. We will update this thread with information as it comes available. Update. One male deputy and one female deputy were ambushed as they sat in the patrol vehicle. Both sustained multiple gunshot wounds and were in critical condition. They were both currently undergoing soldiers. The suspect is still at large. Update. The gunman walked up to, on the deputies and fired, open fire without worrying uh, being provoked. So here, it's a seven second clip. They're just boom, boom, boom. And he's on. That's it. That, that's how fast it happened. And they, you say see it open, but that's where it ends. So the thing is, that's how quick it can happen. That's how fast they can get bang bang. So this is what really, really upset me. To the protesters blocking the entrance and exit of the hospital emergency room, yelling, "We hope they die!" Referring to two LA sheriffs ambush day in Compton, do not block the emergency entries and exits to the hospital. People's lives are at stake when ambulances can't get through. I don't know about you, but read if you're watching this, read this out loud. I am having shivers go all along my body. How sick an individual has to be. Doesn't matter. All right, let's, let's say police. Say police were bad, right? They're not. Let's say generally they're bad. They're still people. These are people with loved ones and family members. And you people out at the freaking hospital. Well, they're at. They're being. They're yelling. We hope they die. These people all need to be prosecuted for blocking entry for other ambulances, and these people are going to hell. These people are sick individuals. I, I did just, terrible people. I'm sorry I'm getting yelling and getting a little bit emotional, but it's like this was so bad. I just could not help making this face. It's so terrible. And I saw someone on here saying it's, yeah, this is Trump's America. Voting for Trump will only make this worse. What this worse? Yeah, exactly. It's happening in Democrat states. This isn't happening in, like, Texas. It's just, I'm so appalled. Not just at, like, it happening, but, like, at the gall and inhumanity that people are, do, the people that are at the hospital hoping the police officers die, those sick individuals, and they, they're going to get what comes to them eventually. It's going to be karma. They, it's just, I cannot believe it. Any human being would say this. It's so sick. Again, if you have any information on who did this, if you live in LA, or if you know any, anyone in LA who might be in this area in Compton, please report it. Please, you might you can get money, and it doesn't matter. Even if you don't, please, just I, I we need information. We need to find out who did this and hold them to the highest standard of the law. So now we're going on to the next part of the article. Well, it talks a little bit more about it. It's hundred thousand dollar reward as we just covered, and yeah, it's just. They, were shot. They, they really weren't doing anything. They were just there. I'm just having this other article so you guys can see these other things. Basically, at the, the reason I have this is because there's protesters there now, right? 
So to the protest was blocking the entrance exit of the yeah, I already read that. Protesters were given an order to leave, but at least two refused. One of the agitators got into a struggle with deputies that were trying to arrest him for not cooperating. A woman that allegedly ran at the deputies, she did run. It was figured out. This is, I found out after the, after this was put up, interfered with the rest. She turns out to have been a member of the media, but she didn't answer. So actually, so she said this, but actually, the thing is, she, I saw it in one of the, the tweets that they have. I don't know exactly where it is, but she she's like, I'm part of the news. After the fact, her news credentials were not high enough to allow her in anyway. Yeah, the incident even called the attention of President Donald Trump, who asked for prayers for if they die, fat, fast trial death penalty for the kill. Only way to stop this. It's so true. We need to speak up for these officers. These officers, they're good officers. Not every officer is bad. It's like, it's like, it's, if there is, if say some officers are racist, those racists in every job, it does not matter which job it is. It does not matter what the skin color is. Those racists everywhere. And what the saddest thing is, we're all humans. We're all part of the human race. We're not separate races. We're the human race. We all need to come together, especially in America. We're all Americans. We all stand for good ideals. And I want to end this off with, with saying that this, this isn't Trump's fault. This isn't Trump's America's fault. This is the Democrats' fault. They've been pushing that cops, all cops are bastards. They've been pushing that so hard. Many Democrats are making part of their like election campaign or like their, their, their campaigns for running for like, office wherever they are. That they will defund the police. First thing that goes is not the gun people. First thing that goes is not the gun. It's the officers that are newest there and tasers and less than lethals. Less than lethals is what keeps people from dying. And guess what? The newest officers are typically, in, in most areas, more so minorities. Because guess what? They're like, wait, all these officers are bad. They go there, they want to be, be good officers. And they realize, wait, these officers aren't really bad. But they would want to help their community. They're the first ones who are getting taken off in, in some areas. I'm just so appalled. Then, anyway, Biden's staff, some people in staff have been donating to groups that pay for, pay bail for riot spreaders in Minneapolis. They'll pay the bail and have them go right back out. Because guess what? This is, this is helping, helping them. It's just so sick. It makes me so upset that not only is all this happening, but then the Biden's campaign people are supporting it. Again, Every single one of these five links I just put in my finger will be in my or in the description of my video. Again, please, if you have any information, please give it to them. Please. And everyone, have the have the officers' prayers. Be, have them in your prayers and thoughts, please. If you're not religious, have them in your thoughts, but please. Everyone pray for them. I really, we need to make sure they come through. I'm sorry this video got a little bit heated in it. But it's just so, I just get so upset by this. It makes no sense. It's like the same thing with the George Floyd. I was pissed off. I was so upset. I still am. Same thing with this. These officers did nothing wrong. It's the equivalent of what happened to him. I'm going to end the video off now. Again, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Send, share with friends. Because this video, please make this video blow up. I don't care if it's my video, this topic. Find someone else's. I will be linking someone who I got the idea from in my description, of course, thing. Share the, some video about this with someone. Share these articles with people. Let it be known that this is happening. I'll see you guys next one. Peace, peace. Bye, guys.